The imminent launch of Tesla's much-anticipated Cybertruck brings more than just a new vehicle to the scene. Alongside this, Tesla is introducing a groundbreaking innovation in EV technology, the Tesla Cybercell. This revolutionary battery is poised to succeed Tesla's current flagship, the 4680 battery, promising significant advancements in EV power. Firstly, let's dive into the need for the Cybercell, beginning with a look at the journey of the 4680 battery. Introduced by Elon Musk in 2020, the 4680 underwent several changes before reaching consumers. Its original design featured a nickel manganese cathode and a graphite silicon anode. However, due to technical challenges, the final version saw the inclusion of cobalt in the cathode and the removal of silicon from the anode. These modifications led to increased costs and reduced performance, impacting the battery's market reception. The 4680's elevated price tag contributed to its limited deployment in Tesla vehicles. With an energy storage capacity of 81.2 watt-hours and an energy density of 229 watts per kilogram, it fell short compared to the older Panasonic 2170 batteries, which boasted 262 watts per kilogram. This reduction in energy density by 133% led to longer charging times and reduced range, resulting in lukewarm customer feedback. Consequently, Tesla ceased 4680 production after its initial run at Giga Texas, prompting a search for an alternative. Enter the Cybercell technology. Essentially an advanced iteration of the 4680, the Cybercell retains the same dimensions but incorporates significant technological improvements. Tesla's Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy, Andrew Baglino, reveals that it will offer around a 10% increase in energy density over the 4680, reaching up to 252 watt-hours per kilogram. This enhancement in performance is a major leap forward for Tesla, achieved without altering the battery's chemistry. Moreover, the Cybercell's consistent dimensions and design mean that vehicles originally intended for 4680 batteries can seamlessly transition to using Cybercells without requiring modifications. In essence, it represents the next evolution of the 4680 battery, a second generation model boasting enhanced performance under a new name. While this might seem like a modest improvement on paper, it signifies a major stride for Tesla. The company can now expediently introduce Cybercell batteries into the market, leveraging existing production methods and technologies from the 4680 series. This leads us to ponder the initial application of Tesla's Cybercell technology. The Cybercell is slated for its debut in the Tesla Cybertruck, mirroring the Cyber branding. Given the Cybertruck's projected weight of over 8,000 pounds, Tesla has been prompted to significantly enhance their battery performance compared to previous models. In preparation for the Cybertruck's release, Tesla has notably accelerated the production of Cybercell batteries in recent months. Since January 2023, Tesla has been active in its production efforts, manufacturing 10 million Gen 2 4680 batteries at Giga Texas in just the first half of the year, and doubling this output in the following months. Impressively, they're on track to further expedite production, potentially halving the time taken to produce another 10 million batteries by the year's end. However, it's important to recognize certain challenges with the Cybercell. While its production scale is commendable, its efficiency is not yet on par with the existing Panasonic 2170 batteries. The 4680 battery, a precursor to the Cybercell, had an energy density of 229 watt-hours per kilogram, whereas it boasts about 252 watt-hours per kilogram. Despite this improvement, it still falls short of the 2170 battery's 262 watt-hours per kilogram. In terms of performance, the 2170 remains superior. The Cybertruck's heavyweight and high torque requirements mean it will be one of the most energy intensive vehicles in Tesla's lineup. This underscores the importance of battery efficiency, especially if the Cybertruck is to maintain a competitive range. If Tesla standardizes the use of Cybercell batteries, this could result in a reduced range for the Cybertruck. 
Given the truck's expected multifunctional use, including heavy towing and hauling, the range reduction could pose a significant limitation. Considering the anticipated 500-mile range for the long-range Cybertruck variant, this goal seems increasingly challenging. To achieve even a 300-mile range, it would require a battery significantly larger than that used in the Tesla Model X, potentially increasing the vehicle's weight further. This is particularly disappointing considering the already hefty mass of the Cybertruck. The challenge is exacerbated when considering the Cybertruck's intended high-demand performance, such as towing and carrying heavy loads. While a 300-mile range might be adequate for a standard electric vehicle, it's insufficient for a vehicle designed for heavy-duty tasks. The resulting impact on the range during such activities makes the suitability of the Cybercell for the Cybertruck questionable for those intending to use it as a traditional pickup truck. Although many owners may use the Cybertruck for lighter duties, Tesla's battery choice should ideally cater to a wider range of uses. Finally, there's the issue of production capacity. Despite ramping up production, Tesla's current output of Cybercell batteries doesn't meet the immense demand for the Cybertruck. With a weekly production rate that translates to around 34,000 trucks annually, this falls significantly short of the nearly 2 million pre-orders. The resulting wait time for pre-order fulfillment, although unlikely to be as long as 60 years, highlights the need for a more robust production strategy to meet the high demand for the Cybertruck and manage customer expectations more realistically. Taking into account all these factors, we arrive at a pivotal question. What is the future of Cybercell batteries? Optimistically, the prospects are quite bright. Tesla's deep investment in the development of Cybercell batteries indicates that significant advancements are on the horizon. Foremost, we can anticipate improvements in the battery's mechanical design, enhancing performance without necessitating major structural or chemical changes. The evolution of the Cybercell battery, driven by process and mechanical design optimization, suggests upcoming enhancements in battery technology. These advancements could potentially elevate the Cybercell to match or even surpass the performance of the Panasonic 2170 battery. This potential is evident when considering its ability to store up to 10% more active battery material than its predecessor, the 4680 battery, a significant leap achieved without altering the battery's chemistry. Looking ahead, the second generation of Cybercell batteries is likely to incorporate both structural and chemical improvements. Drawing inspiration from the Panasonic 2170 battery, which features a silicon graphite anode as opposed to the Cybercell's current graphite only anode, Tesla aims to further increase the energy density by at least 10%. This figure is expected to grow as Tesla continues to refine their technology. Another compelling reason for Tesla's focus on developing its battery technology is economic viability. By producing its batteries, Tesla stands to substantially reduce costs associated with outsourcing and purchasing pre-made batteries. Merging the higher energy density of the 2170 with the cost-effective production of the 4680, Tesla is poised to create a superior and more affordable alternative to Panasonic's batteries. However, this development is a future goal meaning the Cybertruck will initially be equipped with the current generation of Cybercell batteries. The current version of the Cybercell battery is expected to be utilised in the twin-motor 300-mile Cybertruck model, providing adequate energy for this variant. In the future, we can anticipate newer iterations of the Cybercell that will likely power the extended range and high-performance versions of the Cybertruck. Tesla plans to release different trims of the Cybertruck sequentially, a strategy that differs from Elon Musk's initial promises in 2019, but is more realistic given the current technological landscape. Furthermore, as Cybercell technology advances, Tesla is likely to achieve significant weight reductions in electric vehicles while enhancing battery performance. This implies that the tri-motor and four-motor Cybertruck models could be closer to launch than previously thought. Although Tesla is relatively new to the battery industry compared to established players like Panasonic, its progress in developing a competitive battery, despite the challenges surrounding the Cybercell, is noteworthy.
we should expect an increase in the production of Tesla's proprietary batteries, especially considering the limited initial use of the 4680 batteries. Overall, Tesla's rapid progress in the battery sector is commendable, even if Elon Musk occasionally tends to overstate the company's achievements.